Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you a quick tip from the new version X16 in Chief Architect Premier. Some of the things that uh, I am enjoying uh, the new features in this case, I think one of my favorites is the fact that we have leader lines in dimensions now. Double click on your dimension defaults and I think it's under... Oh, brother. I should know where this is, right? Oh, it's right in the general panel here. Leader line style. You're going to have a straight line. Let's show, show the different ways you could do it. So there's a straight line with an arrow. Um, you can also, you don't have to do it in the defaults. You can do it by the uh, dimension specification individually here, I believe. No, I take that back. It has to be done in the, oh, there it is, in the segments line. You can have individual. There's a curved line. You can include the arrow or not. Okay, so let's change this one, segments, square corner. Let's not include the arrow. So there's a square corner. Let's let's change this one to um, include a second segment. That's kind of cool. And you can make a custom one. I don't know what that's about. That's cool. How would you make a custom one? I'm gonna to have to get back to you on the custom leader line. That's kind of cool. What would what could that be? General leader line. There's no custom option in the in the dimensions. I do like that if you include the arrow, you can match the dimension or have a have a different arrow. Like so. I don't believe we can, let's see if we can change those arrows. You can't change the arrow, maybe, no, you can't. That doesn't change that arrow. Ch to change the arrow, you have to go through the default here. Mention all the way at the bottom. Like that. I'm going to have to play with this custom idea. Even if you're, even if you're, um, default has has leader lines you can set individual dimension lines to be none as well so that's my favorite thing so far just wanted to share a few things with you also with dimensions one thing that is great is you double click on manual dimensions it pops up to the manual page manual uh, panel automatically if i double click on the end to end notice we're at locate end to end if I double click on the uh, interior dimension tool, locate interior there, locate point to point, that goes manual because that would be a manual, uh, a manual type of dimension that you're drawing. Double click on the baseline dimensions, that's also manual.
center line dimensions. That's also manual. So there you go. I do like that thing that, that when you double click on the tool, it, it pops up here like that. All right. That's uh, dimensions and line segments. Fun stuff. Have fun. Take care. Like and subscribe if you uh, like this information. Bye-bye.